So do I, you rent, like, uh, a space? I, is this abandoned? We, yeah, well, it's not abandoned. I, man, I started out managing this building for the company that foreclosed on it. Okay. And when they foreclosed on it, uh, they asked me, just keep an eye on it. So I came down, and I mean, the place was empty, and I one night was sitting in the basement because we had a problem with the fire sprinklers. They called up and said that there is a... Uh, <coughs> leak down here so I came down met the fire sprinkler company and sat here till like three in the morning in a dark dingy basement and primarily I'm a contractor by trade or have been for since 1984 uh, go ahead about six months I'm on my way home from doing a job up in Vermont my knees are killing me I'm just thinking I got to do something else in life I'm gonna be 50 years old I can't constantly yeah. do tile and yeah. be do I've been it's too long I need something else so I'm, you know, driving. I got two hours to drive. I'm thinking, thinking, and all of a sudden, I'm thinking, man, that basement would be perfect for growing mushrooms. You didn't think about growing anything else. <laughs> I'm teasing. Well, as a matter of fact, I, I did. I, I stopped and at 100 Chase Parkway, and they said, so you're going to go find some happy mushrooms. I said, that's right. That's why I'm out here at 8 o'clock in the morning. Well, I've, I've been asked that by many chefs, and I... I not only happy mushrooms, but I have been told I should be growing some other things that would be much more <laughs> profitable too. Um, and don't think it hasn't crossed my mind. I just have three daughters, and I don't want to be on the front page of the paper for that. So I'm trying. You, you to wouldn't do look good in life. orange. No, no, orange isn't my color. <laughs> uh, so that's you know that that's basically how it started. I started studying it, and you know I, I got a bunch of books and got on the internet and started making phone calls. And next thing. Uh, I called the guys that own the building and said, would you mind if I tried it? And they said, no, go ahead, try it, see what you can do. And uh, it worked. And then the next spring we started doing it commercially and it's been very small and it's been very uh, hard work. And it's, it's, I can't spend full time because I still make my money mm -hmm. contracting. But this year we've put much more money and time into it than before. And now we're up to, uh, I would say about 15 to 20 pounds a day, where at one point we were at 15 pounds a week. And wow. I have had a lot of help from a lot of the chefs. I've had help from uh, primarily Scott Miller from Max's Oyster Bar has been a big, big, big help and, and encouraging and giving me names. And uh, Nick Mancini from La Tavola mm -hmm. uh, has been phenomenal. I mean, he, he's gotten to the point where he'll say, look, take I'll take all the mushrooms you have when you can't get rid of them. You know, I don't want them all the time, but... It's, it's tough to manage. I mean, one day we'll have 15 mushrooms, then on Thursday we may have 40 mushrooms, and at that point, a lot of the chefs have already ordered for the week, so I call them up and they're like, oh, we can't use them now. And Nick will say, give them to me. I'll do something. We'll make it work. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. And as we go along, throughout the days of our lives, we all face small obstacles and challenges every day. Um, the mycelium grows um, fairly well without the light, although we keep a constant low light down there, uh, also primarily so we can see what we're doing without looking like miners with you know a flashlight on our head. And uh, humidity is very important, although <coughs> we try and take the humidity level down a little bit just before we harvest. Mm -hmm. It's been a difficult thing to do because as we're growing, we still don't have individual excellent rooms where i mean i don't have a full control where i can say all right rooms one through two or one through three have this humidity etc but we're going to get to that point it's just a matter of time and sure money and this so building's been for sale so i haven't wanted to put a lot of money into something that could get sold out from under me every day every single day So Good. Josh has been my right hand man. He's uh, Hi Josh, he's Emily busy. Brooks, nice to meet uh, you. We also have another fellow Joe that isn't here this morning, but um, between Joe and Josh and myself, we've been hanging in there and trying to build the business. And I think that uh, this year, we, you know, at least this summer, we've made some good steps forward, especially in production. Um, I'm not going to give my secrets out because it was hard-earned secrets to That's get to right. that point, but we, we found some good. good steps forward that have really helped the production and hope to continue on that. And as we go 